Hey guys, it's John P. I'm at CES 2015 and I dragged everybody over here to the Stern booth so I could play the new WrestleMania game. Welcome to Geek Beat. So guys, I have long been a fan of pinball machines. As you know, I'm a little bit older than Callie. And uh, these were the kind of games that we played when I was a kid, so I love them. However, Stern has a lot of new innovation coming out, even in the pinball machine arena. And this particular machine is a good example of it. So uh, one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys was this particular machine that they've just uh, announced. It's got an innovative new kind of second level of play up here at the top. So what happens is when we put the ball into play, oh, oh man, I'm so weak. I'm so weak, Gio, I didn't get it up there. Let's try again. I'll put it into play. Oh, well, there you go, it's up there. Um, the ball goes up and uh, we can activate flippers up here. And as, as skillful as you are, you can keep hitting targets at the second level before you come back down to other levels of play, which is super fun. And so just from a pinball perspective, uh, enjoying these machines, that makes it fun. But what we're really going to talk about is we're going to talk about underlying technology because as you can imagine, pinball machines have been around for so long that they've always been really analog machines. And over the years, Stern has been uh, adding more complexity in terms of uh, capabilities while trying to minimize uh, the required serviceability on these machines. So if we take a look, this is one of the uh, slightly older designs of the machine. And if you look down here, it's just a machine laying on its side without the top. You just see massive bundles of wiring everywhere. At the top of the machine here, we see there are multiple motherboards and again, additional wiring. And what they've got is a brand new system. They call it the spike system. But you can see it's just one tiny little board up here. And then when we look down at the bottom, there's just radically diminished numbers of wires. So the thing is, I want you to just think of it like this. With additional complexity, more things to break. So by eliminating all this wiring, by minimizing the number of boards in the machine, it makes servicing them so much easier. So anybody who happens to own a gaming uh, gallery or even a person like me who might buy one of these for my home, you don't have to worry about service so much. So a lot of cool stuff coming out of Stern this year. I'm happy to see them keep just building those pinball machines. And uh, in fact, uh, Geo, take this because I'm going to go do some gameplay. Thanks. Bye.